Happy Thursday, everybody. With it being Thursday, it means it is sale day. So I have, of course, gone um, to my local grocery stores so I can find the best deals for the week. Here, but I messed up this week. Let me tell you about that in just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and get to the grocery haul and then I'm gonna tell you what I did wrong. So this week's grocery haul is not as amazing as what it was last time. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. We have our corn dogs over here. They actually were on sale. Um, so I think I ended up getting those for about $4. Um, when normally I get them for about six. Uh, that wasn't like any kind of super sale or anything, but Rowan absolutely uh, loves them. Uh, so I just keep them at the house either way. Another thing that he loves are these little pizzas. Um, it's something that we don't normally eat, or, but it does work out for a pretty quick and easy lunch um, when we're having a really busy day. So these are about $1.19 each. The other thing that is a staple in our household are pork rinds. Everybody loves them. They love to dip them in different things. And these were two, four, three. First thing that we have here are these smoked sausages. I did end up buying five of them. And um, they're right at normally um, $3 each. They were on a bargain price, as you can see, and they were $1.24 each, and then they went on sale. Uh, so they're actually 98 cents each as well. Right, so I got each of these for less than a dollar, which is great. On to our hot dogs. I'm not a huge hot dog eater, but my kids absolutely love them um i i do like them and it is you know it's summertime so it's hot dog i guess season um i got each of these for two dollars each they were normally five dollars or so i spent six bucks uh, which is a dollar more than what you would normally spend on one pack so i felt like this was a really good um deal just to have again something that you can just pull out for lunch. This kind of does feel like a, a lunch stock um, more than it does anything. Um, but again, you can never go wrong with a cheap and affordable lunch. Starting off with our deli meats. All of these were on sale. Um, these were um, right at $4 each normally. And I got them for $1.99. So there's that bargain price sticker that I talked to you about in the last video. Some things go on sale and some things you need to go ahead and freeze them. All right, and I look for anything that is on sale and anything that I can go ahead and put in the freezer. So all of these, probably except for one, will go in the freezer. So all of these are lunch meats. Right, so that is a steal for me. Another thing that I saw right here, these are normally about two bucks each or, and they were on sale for 75 cent, the chicken lunch meats. I did find some top sirloin steak right here that was normally right at $9 and I got it for right at six. Got another one right here that was right at $9 and I got it for right at six. This is the great deal that we got today, where this is a whole Boston butt uh, when we do cookouts or if we just wanna cook in bulk so we have things for various days, uh, this would be a great staple meal for that. Normally right at $30, and today I got it for just over $17. You really can't beat that. So again, just a small lunch stock haul i guess you could call that today most of this is stuff that we would you know have for lunch i bake all of our bread or so i don't normally buy any sort of bread i just make that today's total and of course kids always get a little bit of extra um was 70 dollars and that is with the kids getting drinks and things like that at the store as well on the way out. 
Um, and we have a total savings of right at $23 as well. So let me go ahead and tell you what I did wrong. So for what I did wrong, um, obviously as you can see the food that I got here today, I didn't, um, I didn't come out with a lot of various meats that I normally would. And I know you're only just now um, following along with the journey that I kind of do every week as far as saving money on meat. Um, but normally what I do is I go on Thursday mornings. Now, just yesterday we got ourselves a dairy milking cow. So it was morning um, and kind of learned that process of learning how to milk her and then I had to do some some things with some chickens and it was just really really busy today um, I didn't get to the grocery store until about 1 30 so all of the deals um, were gone so this is definitely one of those moments in life where you're going hey the early bird gets the worm well the early bird gets the deal all right, and I didn't get many deals today. That's quite all right. All right. So it, it's one of those things that totally happened. You know, most people don't get to see the deals that I do. Hey. Hey. Oh. But yeah, so I'm, you know, I'm still learning, trying to figure out what, what works best. And 100% going first thing in the morning on Thursdays, uh, for me, is what works best. That's when I find, that's when I find the best deals. I'm very sorry if you have kids, you know, that's just a fact of life. Don't. Just threw some underwear at me. <laughs> but yes, so if you want to save money, find out when your store is putting out uh, their sales and go that morning. Uh, the morning of and then you can rack up the the best sale for for that day and again you, know, you can be the first one there to get all those great savings um i did not today and i guess we're kind of paying for it that's okay though because we do have a freezer full of um meat so it's not like we're going we're not going without the children are going to starve um, now they just have a variety of lunch meats, uh, that they can eat. Alright, so, thank you guys for watching. Right. Stop. And five! He's five. Um, so thank you guys for watching. This crazy journey. Bad him on. Right, that I absolutely love. Alright, and... <laughs> Yay! See you next time.